And so we uh, draw towards the end of another week. And um, I think what's happening, and, and I'm looking forward into the future, Friday is, w- without a doubt, certainly, again, for the foreseeable future, going to be Shakespeare Day. And today, it's a piece from one of my absolutely favourite Shakespeare comedies. I'm very hard-pressed to decide whether this or Twelfth Night is my favourite. I, I just have to rank them equal, I think. They're both such wonderful plays. Thanks again to uh, the wonderful Ella for suggesting this. Uh, for those of you who don't know Much Ado About Nothing, um, very, very briefly, uh, suffice it to say that Benedict is, to all intents and purposes, a confirmed bachelor. One of his great friends, Claudio, has fallen in love and Benedict in this speech is pondering on that uh, particular uh, fact. And uh, let's, uh, putting it kindly, he doesn't think too highly of Claudio as a result of it. Anyway, so uh, Benedict from Much Ado About Nothing, and as you will uh, see on your screens, for those of you who want to follow in your Penguin edition, Act Two, Scene Three. I do much wonder that one man, seeing how much another man is a fool when he dedicates his behaviours to love, will, after he hath laughed at such shallow follies in others, become the argument of his own scorn by falling in love. And such a man is Claudio. I have known when there was no music with him but the drum and the fife. Now he'd rather hear the tabor and the pipe. I have known when he would have walked Ten mile afoot to see a good armour? And now will he lie ten nights awake carving the fashion of a new doublet? (laughs) He was wont to speak plain and to the purpose, like an honest man and a soldier. Now is he turned orthography. His words are a very fantastical banquet, just so many strange dishes. May I be so converted and see with these eyes? I cannot tell. (laughs) I think not. I'll not be sworn, but love may transform me to an oyster, but I'll take my oath on it. Till he have made an oyster of me, he shall never make me such a fool. One woman is fair, yet I am well. Another is wise, yet I am well. Another virtuous, yet I am well. But till all graces be in one woman, one woman shall not come in my grace. Uh, Rich she shall be, that's certain. Wise or I'll none. Or virtuous or I'll never cheapen her. Fair or I'll never look on her. Mild or not come near me. Noble or not I for an angel. Uh, Of good discourse, an excellent musician. And her hair shall... Uh, shall be of what colour it please God. 